Hello! Today, let's generate a slug dynamically from a title using Filament PHP. If you go over to the Filament documentation, they actually um, show you two ways of generating a slug dynamically. Um, as we can see here, they have uh, two fields, uh, two text inputs, one with a title and one as the slug. And on the title one, they're actually setting this to live, so it updates in real time as you type characters. And then using the after state updated method, they're setting the slug field. Um, basically, whatever the title is ran through the Laravel string slug helper. So it's pretty basic. Uh, it probably works for, what, 80% of use cases. Um, but then down here, they actually have a little bit more advanced version. And what this one does is basically if the slug has changed, then you go edit the title, then it will update. Um, both of these options are pretty good, and they're probably, you know, an 80-90% uh, use case. They, they solve all the problems for most people. Um, but it didn't for me because I ran into an issue. Um, I can just give you a demo here um, where I was updating some titles on some old articles. And you can see if I change this and add testing to the end, the slug changes. And if I would save this, then it's going to throw 404s for everybody that's linked to this page. If it's found in, you know, in a Google search, if it's basically anywhere on the website, on the internet already. So I do not want that to happen. Actually, if it's been, basically, if this has been published, I don't ever want to update the slug ever again. It's going to remain the same until the end of time. So let me show you how you can um, take what they outline in the documentation and make it a little bit more advanced. So we switch over to our code editor, and you can see here I have my text input of the title, I have the text put input of the slug, and I'm actually, I've copied and pasted the code that they outline in the documentation. All right, so to go a step further, you can actually pass in other parameters here. So the first one we're going to pass in is the operation, and that is what's currently the form is doing. It's either um, creating or editing. So that one's pretty simple. And then the second option is we're going to pass in the article, which is, is what this form controls. You can see up here the model. So this is the article class. All right, and then all we have to do is add into a simple little if statement, and we're going to say if the operation is edit, and if the article is published, then we don't want to do anything. We're just going to return. And in case you're curious, the is published is actually on the article model. It's a simple little uh, method that basically just See if the status uh, matches the article status enum of published and making sure the published at date is at some point in the past. All right, so with that set and we save it, um, we can switch back to the browser and refresh. Now, if I edit this title, the slug would not update, which is perfect. That's what we want. Um, however, let's take this another step forward. And since it's published, we don't want anybody to be able to edit this slug. Um, otherwise, it will still throw a 404. So we can come down here and on the slug input, we can actually use the disabled method. And if we switch back, we can refresh and you can see it's disabled now. But it's going to be disabled for everybody. So we want to get a little fancy and we're going to throw in um, basically the same thing we did up there. We're going to say um, string operation and then we're going to say article. And what we want to do is basically that same if statement. Um, we're going to say operation equals edit and article is published. I have a little capital letter there. All right. So now if we're editing and the article is published, that's that statement's going to be true, which is going to mean that is going to be disabled. So if we refreshed, boom, it's disabled like we want. If we set this to draft, save it. 
can see now this slug field is editable, editable. And if we swap back to published again and hit save, now it's back to disabled. Um, so, you know, this is basically a simple, a simple little way to make your filament forms a little more powerful if you are dealing with um, dynamic data like generating slugs. Um, I hope this video helps and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.